It is true that some of our rubbish would burn up in the lava. The 2018 eruption of Kilauea on Hawaii's Big Island produced lava flows that were over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That is enough hot to melt many rocks and hotter than the surface of the planet Venus. It's also just as hot as incinerators for waste, which typically burn trash at 1,800 to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Yet the temperature of each lava differs. Basalt is the type of lava that is produced by volcanic eruptions in Hawaii. Compared to the lavas that erupt from other volcanoes such as the thicker dacite lava that erupts from Mount Street Helens in Washington State, basalt is far hotter and more fluid. For instance, the Mount Street Helens eruption from 2004 to 2008 resulted in a lava dome whose surface temperature was below 1,300 Fahrenheit. There are many compelling arguments against burning trash in volcanoes besides temperature. First off, lava isn't hot enough to melt many other common materials like steel, nickel, and iron. Even though it can melt a lot of trash containing things like food scraps, paper, plastics, glass, and some metals at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Second, there aren't many volcanoes on the planet with lava lakes, that is, craters that resemble bowls and are filled with lava, where humans could throw waste. There are only eight active lava lakes among the hundreds of volcanoes on Earth that scientists are aware of. These include the Democratic Republic of the Congo's Narragongo, Antarctica's Mount Erebus, Kalawia. The craters of the majority of active volcanoes are either filled with water, as in Crater Lake in Oregon, or with rocks and cooled lava, such in Mount Street Helens. The third issue is that it would be extremely risky to dispose of waste into any one of those eight active lava lakes. Lava lakes are cooled lava bodies with a crust on top, but the molten material beneath the crust is extremely hot. A lava lake will explode if boulders or other objects fall on its surface because they will shatter the crust and disturb the lava beneath. In 2015, there was a large explosion at Kalawia that threw boulders and lava up and out of the crater as a result of blocks of rock falling into the lava lake. Garbage thrown into a lava lake would force its victims to flee while dodging flaming debris and lava. What would happen to the rubbish if it could be securely dumped into a lava lake? Numerous harmful gases are released during the burning of metals, plastics, and trash. Tons of harmful gases such as carbon dioxide, sulfur, and chlorine are already released by volcanoes. We refer to acidic fog, also known as VOG or volcanic fog, as sulfur gases. It can damage neighboring vegetation and make breathing difficult for nearby residents. The fumes produced by burning our waste would combine with these already hazardous volcanic gases to create even more deadly air for nearby plants and people. Finally, a lot of native people consider the neighboring volcanoes to be sacred sites. For instance, the areas surrounding Kalawe's Halamaumo Crater is revered by native Hawaiians as the dwelling place of Pell, the goddess of fire. It would be incredibly disrespectful to those civilizations to dump trash into volcanoes. As we continue to explore unconventional solutions and their impacts, we encourage you to share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay informed about our exciting discussions. Thanks for joining us on this volcanic journey, and until next time, stay curious and eco-conscious.